Imagine I have a beautiful tree that's filled with oranges. And I ask myself, what is the orange made of? I want to look deeply inside the orange, so I magnify it. And I magnify it again, and if I keep on doing it, deep inside, sooner or later, I begin to see molecules. But molecules are not the end of the story, and if I make them big enough deep inside, I begin to see atoms. Atoms are not the end of the story, too, because we have electrons zooming around the nucleus, deep inside, mostly empty space in the atom, but deep inside, we see the nucleus. I see that the nucleus is itself made of particles, neutrons and protons. And if I grab one of the neutrons and magnify it, I find yet further particles, little tiny quarks inside. Now that is where the conventional ideas stop. String theory comes along and suggests that inside these particles there is something else. So if I take a little quark and I magnify it, string theory says I'll find a little tiny filament, a little filament of energy, a little string-like filament. And just like the string on a violin, I pluck it and it vibrates, creates a little musical note that I can hear. The little strings in string theory, when they vibrate, they don't produce musical notes, they produce the particles themselves. 